Niemand platt. About 90% of all the reports we get in, we actually manage to, after a lot of investigation, find out that they're actually natural man-made objects or phenomena. So what's the fascination? Um, fascinating trying to find out what it really is. Uh, most of it's misinterpretation, but some of it can be interesting new phenomena. I mean, not everything's been discovered. Uh, things like ball lightning um, and other natural phenomena are still totally unexplained and, and very mysterious. So that's that sort of thing. What about the people who have experiences that they swear are true where they've been taken up into spaceships and stuff like that? Yeah, there's, there's lots of theories as to those. Uh, we have no hard evidence. We have witnesses. Christian, what about crop circles? Um, it seems to be dying out now. Um, one conference mentioned that they'd seen no triangular ones and a few days later a triangular one appeared. So either they're listening to us or someone's very quick on their toes. <laughs> Thanks very much for joining us. Philip Walton, director. ...have gone to him looking for help. His name is Dr. John Mack. He says after putting these people under hypnosis, he's concluded they are not mentally ill, but are in fact everyday people experiencing some type of UFO phenomena. Dr. Mack has compiled their stories in a new hit book, Abduction. There you see its cover, published by Scribner's. Dr. Mack.